Mm. I'm like, that's how you get better. You work, you keep working and working and working. I, I, I want to stay here. I want to stay here, Al, because, man, it sounds like the conversations I have with my sons, <clears throat> and it's a fine line that you kind of walk because you're like, okay, I need to be a dad, but I also, I also have so much knowledge. But you and I have one thing in common, and I was going to go later, but I'm going to go here because I think it fits. Harvey Dorfman, who, without Harvey Dorfman, I probably don't play a day in the big leagues. I know you probably don't have the career that you end up having in the big leagues without Harvey Dorfman. And I know what he meant. Now, Harvey Dorfman was the, was the uh, mental game of baseball. Hey, there you not, go, bro. There you go. This isn't a prop, uh, Chinch. There it is. I have this. I bet, I bet he does too. I have this nearby, and every single kid – there you go. Every single kid wow. uh, that I talk to, you got the mental uh, – Mental keys to hitting. Look at yeah, this. No, oh, both of them. We're going to play dueling banjos now with Harvey Dorfman. Oh, yeah. No, but I love it. What's but Dorfman paying you guys? I, I love it. I love well, it. And, and Harvey passed away like passed uh, away. Uh, it's about nine years, years seven years. But my my thing, Al, is that one of the things that when I you know I look back at your <laughs> at your you know what you did with what, what you did with Jack was that I know how big the ABCs of pitching was. I know how big Harvey Dorpin was for you. And you started early in Jack's high school career, started charting his pitches. Right there, you go. The mental ABCs of pitching. Listen, if anyone's listening to this show or watching the show, I tell the same thing. I said, you want to get good wow. at baseball? Anyone, right, Alice, right there. Anyone could come and take the swings and throw the ball and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, this is a game of failure. It will eat you up if mentally you're not ready to go. And mentally you don't have some tools. You can't bring a butter knife to a gunfight. And I think an Uzi fight because, you know, that's what the mind is. And when I look at Jack, and I watched him at Vanderbilt, I was lucky enough to catch those games, and I was excited because you know he's your son, and yeah. you know I'd known him growing up, and it was it was fun to watch, man. But one thing I knew, and knowing it from the baseball eye, what I was watching, the way he sequenced pitches, mm. the way he the way he would he would you know he had such a demeanor that he could get back into the pitch if he gave up a, a walk or a hit, and I know that was you, Al, and I know that was your yeah. influence. Not every kid has that. 